welcome to Camp Corona Day 55, a virtual, imaginary vacation land. Today, as always, we have five activities for you. Number one, build a fort. Look around your cabin and see what you could use to build a fort, blankets, pillows, chairs, tables, whatever you need to make a secret hiding place. And then go into it and make a nice little nest where you can sit and read by yourself. So that's activity number one. Activity number two is draw a matching outfit for you and a friend especially something that you could wear to Camp Corona. And you know, there are a lot of opportunities for dressing up or dressing down at Camp Corona. So be creative when you draw these outfits. Number three, write five things in your journal that you did, five things that you didn't do, five things that you wanted to do, so I might write that I have been both reading Agatha Christie Mysteries and watching Agatha Christie Mysteries on Netflix, the ABC Murders, and one I'm watching now, Ordeal by Innocence. And I think Agatha Christie is really a good companion to have in quarantine. Number four. The Camp Corona Catalog. Today, I'll be featuring the bandana in the Camp Corona Catalog. Um, the bandana, look, I forgot to put the size. It's 21 inches square. It comes in red or yellow, and it costs 55 cents. And one thing about the Camp Corona Catalog that I realized is it would be really good if I made an index for the catalog, for the items in the catalog, so you could see which day there was an activity connected with the various items in case you couldn't remember all the things to do with a bandana. And in fact, today I'm gonna suggest one more thing you can do with a bandana. Now this will be a fun activity. You fold the bandana or a scarf or whatever you have into a blindfold. 21 inches is a good size because you'll be able to tie it in the back. Make sure you can't see and then walk around your cabin blindfolded and see how that experience is different than when you can see where you're going. The only thing I wanna point out is make sure you don't get too close to the stairs. So this would be what we might call uh, an experiential activity, seeing what it would be like if you couldn't see. Okay, so, Send me your activities. Let me know what you're doing. Happy camping.